What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to another question with derivatives. So we have to find the values of x for which the slope of the tangent on the function 5x over x plus 2 is parallel with the equation 2x minus 5y minus 9 equals 0. So first, let's show visually what's going on before we get into graphing. Now, you're not always going to be able to show visually what's going on but this function we gone over in advanced functions how to graph it's just basically a linear over a linear so let's graph it out first so we got uh, horizontal asymptote at five which is the ratio of the leading coefficients and then we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative two so that would be like here and then if we plug in a value of 0 for x to get the y-intercept, we would get 0. So we know that this function is going to go through the origin, and that's the x-intercept as well. So the function is going to look something like this. And now we have to find uh, what values of x is the slope of the tangent on this function going to be parallel to this equation here. And notice here how this is a line. So if we rewrite this, we got 2x minus 5y minus 9 equals 0. If we isolate for y, so we're going to put this line into y equals mx plus b form, so bring the negative 5y over. This would be 5y, divide everything by 5 we would end up with y equals 2 over 5x minus 9 over 5. So we have to find the values of x on this function where the slope of the tangent is parallel to this line. And if it's parallel to this line, it means it has the same slope as this line, and the slope of this line is 2 over 5. 2 over 5 is a positive slope. So perhaps it's going to be like maybe here somewhere on this part of the function. We got to find the x value of where that happens. So let's label that x1. And then perhaps a slope of 2 over 5 can also occur on the function here or anywhere. But let's just guess over here for now. We're going to actually solve for the actual x value where it happens. But let's just assume right there for now. So how do we find that? How do we find the x values for which the slope of the tangent is equal to 2 over 5? Well, we first got to find the derivative of this function because the derivative will give us the value of the slope of the tangent at any x value. And then we just have to take that derivative, make it equal to 2 over 5, and solve for the x values. So if we have this function here, 5x over x plus 2, what's the derivative going to be? Well, we can use the quotient rule. So take the derivative of the top, multiply it by the bottom, then subtract the top function multiplied by the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1, all over the bottom function squared. So if we distribute the 5 inside this bracket, we would have 5x, and then notice there's a minus 5x here. So those 5x's will cancel out, and we'll just be left with 10 over x plus 2 squared for the derivative. And then we have to make this derivative equal to 2 over 5 and then solve for the x values. So if we do that, make this equal to 2 over 5, and then we can just cross multiply, solve for those x values. So 5 times 10 is 50 and then two times that expression. We can divide both sides by two. So we'd have 25 equals x plus two squared. And then we can take the square root of both sides to get rid of that square here, to get rid of that exponent two. And the square root of 25 can be either plus five or minus five. So two different cases, so plus 5 equals x plus 2, or minus 5 equals x plus 2. Then when we solve for those x values, so bring the 2 over, so 5 minus 2 is 3. 
That is one solution. Bring the two over here. Negative five minus two gives us negative seven. And those are your two x values for which the slope of the tangent is gonna be two over five. So this x value here is negative seven. And then this x value here is three. So we were correct in estimating or guessing that the slope of the tangent is going to be two, or the uh, slope of the tangent is going to be two over five to the right of that axis. It could have also been here potentially, because the slopes of the tangents are positive there, but we just guessed there, and we were correct because x is equal to three. If you got an x value of like negative one, then it would be over here. So that's how you do it. And again, you're not always going to be able to graph the function out, or it would take you a really long time to. But I thought I would do it in this question just so you could see visually what's going on before we get into the math. And then the math is pretty simple. You just find the derivative, find the slope of the line, make them equal, solve for those x values.